The devil often wants to hold us down with secret bondages or even overt bondages and wants us to just be deceived into a place of believing there's no hope for freedom. But I'm here to tell you, if you take these three Psalms that I'm going to share with you, Psalm 23, Psalm 103, and Psalm 91, and you declare them over your life in light of the truth I'm going to reveal to you, those demonic bonds will shatter in the name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Adam with The Prayer Project, and I'm here to help you move from being oppressed to blessed to receive everything Jesus paid for. So please join us every single week as we release new devotionals and new prayers. And watch this video all the way through the end because at the end of this, I'm gonna share with you the most powerful Psalm that you can declare over your life for breakthrough. So Psalm 23, here are the insights you need to gain from Psalm 23. It says this, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalm 23, its goal is to reveal to you the secrets of what God wants to do in your life. A declaration, something to see. That even in the midst of feeling oppressed by the devil and the enemy, like he's bringing all of hell against you, that even then, the Lord is designed, he's designed his relationship with you to lead you to still waters and good pastures. Sometimes when life isn't perfect, we feel like the Lord has abandoned us. But what we need to remember in the midst of things that don't feel perfect is that even in the imperfections, God can still lead you in deliverance and freedom and healing to green pastures and still the waters that encourage your soul. That's why it says in the next section here, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because he's still leading me. He's still leading you to green pastures and still waters. Don't let what the devil is trying to do to you bring you down. Instead, believe what the Lord wants to do through you in victory and in peace, and you will find yourself in green pastures and still waters. See, when you declare this psalm over your world every single day, do it every single morning, it resets your mind in the midst of hard moments, whether it's sickness and disease or, or demonic oppression, family being torn apart, financial issues, anything could be you're facing right now that you need breakthrough for, it reminds you that the Lord is the Lord of breakthrough, that the God that you serve is a God of life, and he leads you to where you need to be. Because even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. Don't let fear into your soul. It's a deception of the enemy to deceive you out of the fullness of what God is doing in you right here, right now. We are comforted by the Lord. You know, in verse five, it says, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That means you can speak over your life, even in the midst of what the devil thinks he can do. I'm dining with Jesus. And devil, you have no access to me. You have no power over me. You have no place in me. You have no root in me. No, devil, I am walking in the fullness of the Lord. That's what you need to remind yourself. Declare that over yourself every single day. And as we move into Psalm 103, we discover the secrets of healing and breakthrough that he wants to bring into our lives. Things to declare that open doors for miracles in your world. Here's what it says in Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget his benefits, who forgives all my iniquities, and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. I look to this psalm and I discover that the Lord both forgives 
and heals. That he doesn't just forgive some of my sin, that he forgives all of my sin. That means any voice that the accuser would bring against my world to try and make me think that I've op even opened a door to allow him to move is wrong because my sin is forgiven and washed away by the blood of Jesus. And I go before my father and I understand I am forgiven because the blood has covered my life. And I also understand that the Lord has healed all my diseases. He heals me. So I never come across a pain, a problem, a sickness, a disease, an issue where God is holding something back and saying, I'm not going to move or a place where I would say, I don't trust the Lord. No, he is my healer and my deliverer and in him I trust. Now we know all these things, but how do we invite his healing and his wholeness into our life? It comes from the previous verse. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. See, the key to open a door for the work of the Spirit in your physical body for healing or in, your, uh, in the spiritual world around you for deliverance is to declare with your mouth the blessings of God. You bless his name. You speak a lot. You declare thankfulness for what he's done. You begin to speak those words. I bless the Lord, O oh my soul. I bless your name, Father, for being my healer. I bless your name for being my provider. I bless your name for being my deliverer. And you begin to do these things over your life. And all of a sudden, the gateway to the activity of the Holy Spirit is open. And he begins to do the miraculous in you. Breakthrough and wonders start to happen because you've declared over your life the goodness of God today. And he moves based on that declaration and that goodness. And it's says also do not forget his benefits in the place of speaking the blessings of God over my life over my health over my mind over my marriage over my finances whatever it could be every area of life when I declare what he has declared I remind myself to remain in the place of trust that receives. Trust and faith are the same. It remains in the place of faith to receive from the Lord all that he has for us. So I stay in that place of trust. I stay in that place of hope and faith because I've spoken the blessings of God and it's caused me not to forget. See, the greatest deception of the devil to try and keep you in bondage is to make you forget the blessings of the Lord. But if you can declare this word over your life, and I would say do this every single day, if you need a deliverance, if you need a healing, if you need a marriage change, whatever it could be in life, if you need breakthrough and a miracle of any kind, here's what you need to do. You need to declare Psalm 23 and Psalm 103 over your life every single morning. Every day declare these things and you will watch the goodness of God move in your world. That's even why in a few weeks time, we are doing a prayer of deliverance and healing from Psalm 91. It is going to be powerful and you're going to want to come back for that because that is going to cause major shifts and breakthrough in your life. So please subscribe and join us here every week on The Prayer Project. Declare these things. He redeems your life from the pit. Often in the midst of trial, we forget that the Lord is our Redeemer. And we go and we speak negative words instead, rather than declaring that the Lord redeems my life from the pit. That when I feel in the lowest of the low, Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. You're redeeming me right now. Lord, you're pulling me out of the pit and I can feel the presence and power of God on that, Lord. That you're moving in me and through me, Lord, Father. That you're doing wonders, Lord. Thank you. My life does not stay in the pit or the valley of the shadow of death, Lord. It is redeemed from the deepest depths of darkness and moved into the light. Thank you, Holy Spirit that you are doing wonders in my world, that even if I don't see it, you're working like the famous song Waymaker says, even when I don't see it, you are working in my world and I believe you and I trust you and I know you and I receive your plans, Father. You declare like that every single day and demonic bondage will break off your life. Sickness and disease will begin to be healed. Um, your, your, your mental world will change and you you will enter into streams of peace that feels like you're by rivers of living water. 
This is the truth of the word of the Lord. Now, for the most powerful psalm, I believe, that is in the whole Bible, Psalm 91 is a psalm of deliverance. Psalm 91 is a psalm of healing and breakthrough that causes miracles in people's lives, that helps them to see the truth of the Lord. If you declare the truth of Psalm 91 over your life every single day, you will watch your life turn a corner. You will watch your life shift. You'll begin to feel different, think different, and act different. The Lord is doing wonders through Psalm 91. Here's what it says. And you need to hear this whole part about Psalm 91 to catch the fullness and richness of the truth of this that I believe the Lord wants to speak through this video that maybe you would just miss upon a first reading of Psalm 91. Here's what it says. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Here's what that means. When you remain in the place of his shelter being his home, the shelter of the Most High would be actually in the temple of the living God. If you are a Christian, you are the temple of the living God. If you remain in that place of an intimate relationship, the shadow of the Almighty that protects you, that overshadows you, and that's a declaration of independence, a declaration of protection and hope and healing. He comes over you. It's in the place of where you abide. Where do you abide today? Where do you sit in terms of your life and your time and your energies and how you talk and think and act, would you say the Lord is permeating your world or are you in fear and doubt and unbelief, afraid of your next day because of things that have been spoken over you, circumstances that have come your way? I'm here to tell you today, no, the Lord says, abide in my shelter, seek my face, and I will overshadow you. And then it says this, I will say of the Lord, we come back to what you declare, what you say. He is my refuge. He is my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I'm telling you today that the declaration of these scriptures in forms of prayer will change your life and break demonic bonds. That when you come into your world and rather than being afraid, you instead declare, he is my refuge, he is my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And you speak that better word over your life. You'll watch the enemy begin to lose his grip because you'll see you're someone different. You're not someone who comes under and submits to what the enemy's plans are. You're someone who boasts in trust in the Lord. He is my refuge. Where are you abiding? Do you see your safety today in the Lord or are you afraid? Has fear crept into your heart to deceive you out of the promises and goodness of God? Or are you speaking a better word over your life because it, the better word is his word in the name of Jesus? Here's what he says. Surely he will deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from deadly pestilence. You declare these things that the snare, the secret, that's what the, the snare of the hunter is the secret plans of the enemy. It's traps laid out for us to accidentally walk into. These things that the enemy can lay out that often actually catch us and then we find ourselves in bondage, the Lord will actually deliver you from those things. So maybe today you feel like somehow the enemy got a foothold in your life. The Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver you. That when sickness and disease comes at your world, know there's healing and life and freedom in His name. And you can see it and know it and believe it and embrace it in the name of Jesus. He'll cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find protection. His faithfulness will be your shield and your wall. I love that word for me personally. And you need to catch this word here, this word I'm about to declare to you about the faithfulness of God will make you never fear again. That when you understand he is faithful in your life, all of a sudden what comes up is a shield over your world. It's a shield over your mind. It's a shield over your heart. It's a shield over your body. It's a shield over your family. It's a shield over your workplace. It's a shield all over, the, over your whole life where all of the sudden you're confident and you're at rest. And even if it would look like something creeped into your world to deceive and destroy and lay waste, you're not worried at all because you know the Lord is faithful. Therefore, you're at peace 24-7. That even if something would get in and it would look like all hope is lost, what would come out of your heart is this is just a great opportunity 
for a miracle. Because I can tell you this, every single day is a great day for healing. Every single day is a great day for a miracle. Every single day is a great day for deliverance. Every single day is a great day for hope. We can trust and hope and believe in the Lord who is for us and not against us, who holds our life in our hands. And we can know that we don't have to be afraid of the terror of night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that pursues in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. When he is faithful, we don't fear. But you have to believe he's faithful. This is where things often fall apart for people. We hear about the faithfulness of God, and yet we forget that he's faithful to our own lives. He's absolutely faithful to you. Lean into the faithfulness of the Lord. Lean in to that in your prayers of thankfulness. Lean in into the activities of your life. Invite the Holy Spirit into your plans. Invite the Holy Spirit into what you're doing. And I would say even, seek the Lord for his plans instead. Seek the Lord for his will instead. Put aside your own plans and say, Father, what would you have me do? And you will walk in the fullness of the Lord in the protection of who he is. Here's what it says. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. We embrace these things. And I love this word because what this tells me is that the things that go on for the world will not be normal in my life. The activities and the planning, and not only that, but the responses to challenges will not be normal in my life. The way the world responds is not how I will respond. I will respond in hope, trust, and faith in the Lord. I will know that He is faithful. I will believe Him in Him alone. I will trust Him in Him alone. And I will know His faithfulness because I've declared it out of my mouth and I actually believe what I've said. This is the key. Declare these scriptures over your life and you will find breakthrough. I challenge you, do this every day for the next 10 days. And by the end of 10 days, you will begin to watch your world shift. I'm not saying the miracle will necessarily happen then, but definitely you'll feel the shift in your internal world. God is doing a work in you. Now, I would like to pray for you. Don't skip off. I would like to pray for you that the works of the devil in your life would break off you in the name of Jesus. And I believe through this prayer, every action of the devil is going to fall apart and all the bonds will be broken. And I pray for you right here in this video. So please click this video here and you will watch God do miracles. I'll see you over there. God bless.